welcome to my channel yeah i'm going to show you how to make simple shot in 20 minutes yeah lay your fabric down yeah the way, the way we've seen me do it so this particular fabric is on a fold the hip measurement for this shot is 44 inches which i divide by 4 to give me 11 so one inches allowance is added to give me 12 and five inches allowance is added for my crotch measurement which it took me a total of 17. i added one inches allowance to give me 18 just for any mistake that could be made so now i'm dividing this particular uh, this is a, this fabric you're seeing on the table is 36 in total so i'm dividing into two 18 inches to the left 18 inches to the right as you see me done and joined together in my ruler so what i'm going to do next now is to mark my hips measurement which is 11 inches plus 1 inch allowance which is 12 you can see me mark 12 up and down and after marking 12 up and down i'm joining with my ruler to give a straight line see i'm joining with my ruler right now i'll do it for both the left and the right so so you can note the left is for my back and the right is for my front i'm cutting this particular shirt front and back together at the same time it's not going to be joining at the sides it's supposed to be very easy for you to make like finish doing it in 20 minutes so it's not going to come with pockets so it's just a basic simple shots you can do as fast as possible so i've marked 12 inches to my right and 12 inches to my left please know that my right is for the front of the shot and my left is for the back of the shot so we are cutting the whole shot once so now i'm marking the length of my shot the length of my shot is 20 inches so i'm marking 20 inches through after marking it through i'm going to join with my ruler you can see me doing that joining with my ruler so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to mark my crotch can you see so the crotch the crotch depth will be 10 mark 10 through like 10 inches inches in depth so i'm going to mark 10 inches all through mark 10 inches to the right 10 inches to the left i'm going to join with my ruler as usual you see nice and easy i hope you can see the marking on the shot so after marking the crotch depth so i have to put the cuff to the crotch to the front which is my front part of the shot i'm giving three inches as the depth and i'm going to curve it like the curve down to up of course you know the crotch area is a curve not a straight line so you have to curve it to the front three inches for the front crotch area and for the back i'm going to mark five inches you know the back is usually bigger than the front because of our bum to give it an enough space and allowance to contain our bum this particular person is e has a e size 11 that's 44 divided by 4. so this shot is going to be easy to wear so i'm curving it too i gave it two inches before i gave the curve so it doesn't tamper with the allowance the allowance is supposed to be like two inches plus the normal three inches which i gave to the front you get my point now so after joining that the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark the down part of the shot which is going to be like two and a half or two inches depending on your choice or how tight you want it to be from the crotch allowance from the crotch line let me put it that way so i'm going to join with my ruler in slanted way to give it the um get you can see what i'm doing so i have to mark it front and back so mistake will not be made while sewing for my my camera is taking the front and back i also mark the down part of the shot for the left side Remember two two and a half or two inches from the crotch line. Depending on how tight you want it. You can take three inches, two inches, but this one is particularly free.
for ease of wear. You just go to something you throw out. You go into somewhere easy breezy. Just throw in your shorts and go to where you're going. After marking that, see, it's very fast and easy. We're now going to mark the slanting of the shorts. You know, the back is usually like longer than the front because as usual because of the bump so if you saw me mark one inches there now i'm marking two inches here which i'm going to join my ruler like two inches from the left then one inches to the right because it's going to give us a slant just add it yeah join with your ruler then for this part for the front part of the shot you mark like five or six depending on your choice and join like so that the slant it comes down slanting down towards the front the slant doesn't just stop at the back it comes forward to the front and hence in the front so now i'm done i've cut the back i've cut the front i've marked the as in i've joined the front and back i've marked the necessary point now i'm cutting i cut out with my ruler with my <laughs> scissors make sure you follow your marking so you don't make mistakes and cutting because once you make a mistake then you have to start from all over again so after i'm done cutting see what i have you can see the slant okay see how slanted it is I'm going to make the shot sit well then i'm going to separate it don't mind the fabric and paper there i'm going to iron it out so it's going to be neat so that's the front and the back you take it separately and join back and front that's the first one back and front the second one so you take this to the sewing machine now and join separately you join from where my hand is showing just that side you, see, you do the same thing for the other one too that side take it to your sewing machine and i'll bring it back So now I've done it, it's sewn already. You can see it. So we're going to take one of the um sewn parts, then insert in the other. So you turn it right side out. Like you turn it right side out and insert it in the other one. Like I said, ignore the fabric and paper. I'm going to remove it out. It's just I didn't do it in the time of this video. Insert it into the second one. Then take it back to your sewing machine and join. Make sure the line, the join, the already joined parts aligns. Because if you are not careful, you can miss it. See, where you joined both sides has to align. It gives it a perfect and neat feel. So after inserting both of them in, you take it to your sewing machine to join. Take it, then bring it back. See, it already looks like a shot beautiful so next thing we're going to do now is to band you're going to cut out the length of your hips which is 44 plus like one inch allowance so for 45 inches in length and like four inches in depth in breadth i prefer to use interface here to give it like a thickness i feel she should be a bit thick around the waist it's just personal choice when you're sewing yours it's not necessary to use interface for it well it's called sd this one is i didn't have the light one so i'm just using the usual one used for blouse interface or sd so you iron it in take some time because of the length but because i wanted it to be thick i just had to do it when you are doing yours you don't necessarily have to use an interface it's not it's not necessary. I only wanted it to be thick and firm at the waist side. You can just use the fabric that way, the way it is. So after ironing your interface and cutting it out and looking it like this way, then you're going to join. Iron it to be sure that it's very aligned. Then you take it to your sewing machine and join the one inch which you left as allowance. See, the iron almost burnt my foot. So now you're going to fold it. I prefer to use my iron to fold it this way so that when I'm iron, I'm sewing it, I don't make mistakes. It comes out really neat. If you notice what I'm doing, 
I'm folding it in, like folding in the allowance, the sewing allowance. Where I'm going to sew and attach to my shorts. You can see. I'll just sew that way. It's not very neat for me. But before then, I'm going to open it like that. Then join. Take it to my sewing machine. Join, join, just the way I'm showing you. I'll take it, then I'll bring it back to show you what it looks like. So see, I've done it. It's sewn already. I joined it. Then you can now fold it back the way you've already ironed it. You can see. Fold it back. Now you're going to join your shorts to it. See? Join it. Join. You take it to your sewing machine to join. Now, see how it looks like? Just remember to leave space. Don't join your sleeve to that space my hand en entered to. That's why you're going to pass the elastic. You're going to use elastic for this particular shirt. So it's easy to slip on. So this is the one inch elastic with my safety pin. So I'm going to use my safety pin to insert. So see the way I'm doing it. Yeah, it makes it easy. Safety pin makes it easy. You insert it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Take some time though. Because as you insert, you drag, you insert, you drag, you insert, you drag, then it's out. So look at it. When it's out, take it to your sewing machine. You join both sides together. Then you can relieve it. Then you now sew that open part. You join, leave it in, then you sew the open part. Tada! Look at my shirt. So pretty. Look at that paper. I am on.